This video is sponsored by Brooklinen. Hello from my pretty bland bedroom. <laughs> um, as some of you may know, I moved recently and we are just in a temporary spot. Um, but I still like to have aesthetic decorations around me and this room is just not really doing it for me. As you can see, I've done one little corner of my desk area and I think that looks very cute, but this is a little uninspiring over here. So I'm going to be doing a kind of medieval inspired bedroom makeover. I'm doing this with things that I've thrifted as well as things that I already have. Um, and I don't have like a solid plan in mind, so we're kind of going to wing it. But thankfully with medieval and fantasy inspired decor, you can kind of just keep adding things. Um, I personally love clutter. Empty walls scare me. I need things around me to make me feel cozy and inspired. Um, so that's what I'm going to do to this room. I can't paint the walls, but I'm not the biggest fan of this light gray color. So I'm going to use these curtains that I thrifted. They're a very pretty flowy red fabric, which I think definitely will add to the medieval vibes. So yeah, I thrifted these curtains that are going to go up here and I'm going to hang them with these where you just put the curtain rod through. Um, they're not very heavy and neither are these or the rod that I'm going to use. So I think if I just do a couple command strips on the back, it should hold just fine. Um, pray for me. <laughs> I hope that works because I don't really have any other ideas without putting like holes in the wall. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do these. I have some other like pillows and blanket type things I'm going to add in here as well as furs. And I thrifted these today. Um, they're very cute little wall sconce type of things. Um, I'm going to put battery powered candles on them and I think I'm going to use some gold wax paint to just kind of go over the leaves because I think it will look nice to leave the iron stems with the gold leaves. Um, so hopefully that looks cool. But I'm going to hang the curtains over these holes that are already in the walls. Um, this was holding up a picture before. Um, so I think I'm going to try to just hang these like on top of the curtain, like just kind of fold the fabric around this piece and then put my battery powered candles on here. That way I don't have to do any more holes on the wall. So yeah, that's kind of my plan for what I'm changing up in here. Um, the rest is mostly like decorations and stuff. I'm just gonna start with kind of cleaning off the nightstands, moving the lamp, hanging the curtains up. That's step one. I already feel like this looks so nice. Um, <laughs> I put them really high because medieval castles and things always have pretty high ceilings. I mean, obviously like a cottage would be a different scenario, but I'm going for regal vibes. So I figured if I put it higher, it would kind of um, make the ceiling look taller. I think the next thing to do is to do gold paint on the wall sconces. So I have both the wall sconces. I also thrifted this mirror, um, but I believe it actually came from the dollar store. Not sure if I'm going to hang this up, but um, I feel like this could look a little nicer. So I'm going to clean all these off and apply the paint to all of them. I'm going to be using this Art Alchemy metallic vintage gold pot. Um, I love this stuff because you just, you basically just apply it with your finger and it dries super quick. It goes on like every surface I've ever tried it on. Doesn't make a mess or get on stuff. Um, so yeah, basically you just dip your finger into it and then I'm just going to kind of lightly drag it over the leaves so it just gives it a bit of a gold highlight. 
and I'm just going to do that to all the leaves. All done. It's kind of hard to tell in this lighting. It's not great lighting in here. But yeah, I think they turned out really cool. And I'm just going to hang them over the curtain now on top of the pre-existing hooks that are in the walls. They look pretty even. I can't really do anything about the placement because those hooks were already there. So I think that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> but I'm going to turn off the light and put two of my little battery candles up there. One little candle and two. <laughs> I think it's pretty cute. I like it. And then once I have my nightstand over here and then our lamp here, I think it will look, I think it will look cool. So the next step in this transformation is to make the bed, which is perfect because this video is sponsored by Brooklinen. Brooklinen is a company specializing in high quality sheets, founded with the idea in mind that luxury quality home goods should be affordable. It's important to invest in quality items that will enhance your day-to-day -day life. And not only will these sheets last you a long time, but they also get softer with each wash. I've been using these sheets for a few weeks now, and I didn't think that the fabric type would make a whole lot of difference, but I'm very um, particular about my textures on my fabric, and these are so soft. I was actually surprised by how much I enjoyed sleeping in these sheets, and I actually do feel like I have been sleeping a little bit better, which is very, very helpful because Sometimes I do not sleep well. Did you know that you spend one third of your life in bed? Um, I probably spend more than a third of my life in bed because I just enjoy sitting in bed in general. Um, but I digress. If you're going to spend a third of your life or potentially more in bed, you might as well make it as comfortable as possible. You can mix and match over 20 plus styles and fabrics to kind of suit your own aesthetic needs and make your own personal bundle. I chose the Luxe Sateen Sheets and they're perfect for me because I'm a very cold person and these sheets are breathable while still keeping in heat so I don't wake up either freezing cold or absolutely sweating with these sheets. Brooklinen is a tried and true brand with upwards of 100,000 five-star reviews on their website more than any other online bedding company. Brooklinen is offering my viewers $20 off of an order of $100 or more. So you can use my code KIKIM20, spelled like this, if you would like to get a discount on your own very soft and cozy sheets. Thank you, Brooklinen, for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to our room makeover. And of course, it's only natural that when you start making the bed, the cats have to come out and help. And that's exactly what Satin did. Now I'm just adding some finishing touches like this tapestry I thrifted as well as this one from Amazon. Uh, layering is key for fantasy in my opinion. So I'm layering tapestries as well as stacking some books and candles and these fur rugs that I love because they're washable. And some more pillows and some biscuits. I think we're ready to show the final result. 